Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. We're going to start with that breaking news. A jury just convicted Tyrone Howard on multiple charges in the 2015 death of NYPD officer Randolph Holder. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes live at the courthouse in Lower Manhattan with word on the verdict. Andrea. Well, Dana, the verdict guilty on all counts, and I can tell you it was certainly incredibly emotional in the courtroom when that verdict was read. The jury was crying, Officer Holder's family was crying, and officers sitting in the gallery as well, all crying. Let's show you some video from just moments after that in the hallway here in the courtroom where Officer Randolph Holder's family embraced just moments after learning uh, this verdict. Cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom, but that jury again found Tyrone Howard guilty of murdering Officer Randolph Holder, who was posthumously promoted to detective. Howard was also found guilty of numerous other charges, including robbery and criminal possession of a weapon. Holder was killed back in October of 2015 in East Harlem. He and his partner had been chasing a man after responding to a call of shots fired and a bicycle stolen at gunpoint. Authorities say that suspect, Tyrone Howard, hopped off the stolen bike and then and shot Holder in the head on an East River footbridge near the FDR Drive. Holder's family did not want to speak on camera, but they stood with the Patrolman Benevolence Association President Pat Lynch as he addressed reporters just moments after the verdict. Take a listen. But we want to thank this jury. They came to the correct, just, and right verdict. You saw the jurors crying with their decision as they looked at this family. Let us not forget that although we've gotten justice at this juncture, that when this family goes home, they realize their son is still not in that house. It doesn't fix it. The jury did deliberate for about three and a half days. Uh, Tyrone Howard will be sentenced next month on April 3rd. He faces life in prison without the possibility of parole for that top count that he was found guilty of, of murder. Reporting live outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Andrea. Also